Hey y'all, what's up? It's Mickey the Barber. And today's video, we're gonna talk about the difference between the PU base and the lace base. All right, quick disclaimer. I do not make units by hand. I do not ventilate units. Um, but the one thing that I can do is give you more knowledge about the ones that are being made. Okay, now before we get into the pros and the cons of each base, um, I do want to tell you guys that both bases work perfectly fine. Um, it's really kind of just based upon uh, preference and lifestyle. So, um, you know, like if your client, live, you know, lives an active lifestyle, then, you know what I'm saying, it'll give you a pretty good idea of which base to go with. All right, y'all. Now, first, I'm going to tell you guys about my PU base. So, like... The PU base, it's a poly skin, um, but it's a it's a thick layer of skin. So as you can tell, it's kind of hard. So um, the reason why um, I like this base is because of the hold. Once you put it with the with the adhesive, the hold it's like a suction cup. So the hold it lasts it lasts the hold lasts. So it lasts up to maybe like two to three weeks um, before you know what I'm saying. Before you have to take it off and reapply it. If I, if I have some guys that I know that's going to be um, dancers, um, guys that um, that you be in the gym a lot, that do a lot of high activity, um, I do advise for them to, to, to do the PU because of the hold. Um, now, another thing is because the, the, the base is so thick that it lasts longer. The actual unit as a, a whole lasts longer. So... Um, I had one client that had this PU, uh, unit last maybe like seven, eight months. Um, and I was amazed cause I didn't think they last that long, but the fact that he was able to make that PU last that long, you know, that just let me know that if you take good care of it, it can last longer than three to four months. So, um, that was a good thing about the PU. Um, and also it, the cleaning, the cleaning of it. So, you know, because it's like, it's so thick, you know what I'm saying? When I spray the C22 on there and clean it right off. So, um, that's, that's a good thing about the tube, being able to just easily clean the base of it. So, boom. All right. Now, the thing that I don't like about the PU base is the fact that, um, because it's so thick, um, that, you know, I can't really cut it down as low as I would like. So, you know, it's not the same color as the skin. So if you cut it down too low and it exposes the scalp, it might look a little off. So, um, the fact that, you know, I make sure that if my clients wearing this, they're wearing something with a little bit more hair, like maybe like an inch of hair, um, something like some curls or something like that. So just, you know what I'm saying? That's a, just keep in mind that the PU, you can't really cut as low as you would like it, like to cut it. Um, Another thing is because of other, because it's thick that um you and it doesn't have any holes in it so you, your your scalp is not really getting a lot of breathing room so um I do have some clients that be like you know I need some more ventilation and you know I get my scalp not really breathing so that's when I'll switch them over to the other unit now the other base is the lace base now if you can see the lace base. Let you guys see in a little bit. Like you say, it's, it has holes in it. So that's for the ventilation. So my guys are getting airflow through this unit. Um, another thing with this is that you can cut this very low and the scalp will be exposed and it, it won't look unnatural. It'll look more natural when this is cut low. So you can cut this down to like a one and a half, maybe a one A, and it won't look weird. Um, another thing is because you can use the, um, because it looks so natural to the scalp that I use the lace base for, um, hairstyles that expose the scalp, um, like, um, cornrows, uh, plaits, um, dreads, uh, man buns, stuff like that. I'm going to use the lace base for because, um, once you, if the scalp is exposed, it won't look weird. It'll look more natural with the lace base. Now, the thing that I don't like about the lace is because if you can tell, you know, it's, it's lace. So it's kind of, you know, sewn in together. Now, um, some, sometimes the little wiring, you know, it'll come out. So, you know, the, the unit, the base of the unit will start coming apart. So that hints for, um, replacement for a new unit. So with the lace, um, it just doesn't last 
longer than three to four months because you know if you're not taking good care of it um and then you have some of these little things start coming out because the base is cut to the to the client's head sometimes it might start coming apart a little early so um that's the thing that i don't like about the lace also happens while you're cleaning the unit that you know some 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 of the, the string will come out while you're cleaning it and that's what makes this unit a little bit harder to clean now you can clean it you can definitely can clean it they definitely have tools and um products for you to be able to clean this unit but that doesn't mean that um there won't be some wiring coming out and stuff like that so um that's the one thing that i don't really like about this unit uh, all right y'all i gave y'all my pros and my cons on each of the bases um if you guys have any more questions just leave them in the comment section and um i'll try my best to answer them um and again both of these units can be purchased at www.mdbgrooming.com all right y'all thanks for watching